What's up, everybody? This is Jesse Lewis with District Performance and Physio. Our entire mission here is to keep people in DC active, healthy, and stay moving as they get a little bit older. And we love to highlight other businesses and people in the area that have that same mission. Today, I have an awesome guest for you guys, Tiffany Harlan, who's the owner of Comp ID. Tiffany, what's up? How are you doing? I am doing well. How are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. So, uh, summer's over. What's been the best part of your summer? Um, really the summer it's been focusing on my own fitness <laughs> Okay, awesome. I've been feeling it in the gym and all my nutrition. I've just like really laser focused this summer. So that's really been the best part. And then spending a lot more time with my family as well. Nice. So what do you do for fitness? Um, I am right now I'm working with a trainer that plans, plans out my, um, my lifting routine. So basically I lift three to four days a week. I do additional kind of cardio leg sessions three days a week. Um, that's been a big change from kind of just jumping into different classes before it's been a lot, you know, a lot more structured and more progressive, um, just working with a trainer. And then, um, my nutrition has been very specific this summer as well. So I've definitely had a lot of improvements and have dropped actually about 7% body fat this summer. <laughs> that's freaking amazing. 7% is awesome. Yeah. Are you doing it's anything with yeah. your nutrition? Um, yes, I am actually. It's, um, I am also working with a coach for nutrition and I'm just following a very specific clean eating plan, um, where I have specific meals, you know, I'm eating five times a day, almost bodybuilder style, but I'm eating five, you know, five meals a day, high protein, you know, good amount of carbs in every meal. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's really good. There's no social life and no eating out, but I'm sacrificing right now for the good of later on down the line. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations. That's pretty cool. Thank you. So uh, tell the audience, you know, who are you? You know, what does your business do? What is your business? Tell us a little bit about what, what you do. Sure. Um, so my business, Composition ID, basically what we do is we provide data and body composition testing, nutrition um, coaching. We also do metabolic testing, VO2 max testing, and we also do and provide uh, blood testing if somebody wants to test blood biomarkers. But um, kind of in a nutshell, uh, we provide all these services and they're all data back services to complement those that are in the fitness and health industry, um, not only at, as a business to business, you know, partnership, um, with, you know, with your clients, but also for the individual that's just looking to, whether they're looking to start a plan or, um, you know, working with a professional or on their own and they want to validate their program. They don't want to focus on, you know, scale weight necessarily. They just really want to look at the numbers and really see what's going on internally. And we provide all of those internal measurements for our clients. Okay, cool. So you kind of like provide information that might then benefit somebody working with their personal trainer or nutritionist or something like that. Right, exactly. Um, all, all the data, basically, it's, it's used in a way to validate programs. So just to make sure that you are being efficient, being effective in whatever program that you are doing. Okay, very cool. Um, so like you mentioned like body composition or like metabolic, uh, measurements, things like that. Can you, can you give us a little bit more information on like what exactly you're measuring there? Sure. Uh, for body composition, um, we actually use, um, a machine called a DEXA machine. It's D E X A or D X A, uh, for short. And it's basically a very, very low dose x-ray. And what it does is it measures lean mass and fat mass in the body, but also segments the different areas of the body. So you can see how much lean and fat mass is, say, for example, in your arms, uh, your legs, your trunk region. It also measures uh, visceral adipose tissue, which there are no other body composition methods that can measure that. So we look at health risk associated with having any visceral fat. Um, and also measures bone density. So that's just a nice proactive thing to look at because usually young adults do not, um, you know, have any, any reason to measure bone density early on in life. So we do it proactively um, because the machine is a bone density um, piece of equipment. But on the spectrum of body composition methods, DEXA is not only the most accurate, but the most detailed in comparison to others such as pod pod, um, hydrostatic weighing, in body, bioimpedance, things like that. Okay. So yeah, I was going to ask, you know, there's a ton of different ways to measure that kind of stuff. So, so DEXA is, you know, the most accurate, most, most evidence behind it. Right. Exactly. On the spectrum. Yeah. Um, it's definitely at the top level. Okay, cool. So, you know, why, why did you start your business? Uh, you know, what's your passion? You know, tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. Um, well, I originally started the business because I was working with, um, in a clinical setting with age management 
positions. And what I saw was that, you know, we were using DEXA, we were using VO2, uh, metabolic rate, and even nutrition programming. I was the nutrition exercise counselor for them. Um, we were using this for these high level executives that would come in and start this program. Um, in this medical setting, but at the time I was I was a personal trainer, I was managing a gym, I was bringing my clients in to use the technology as well because I wanted to validate their program and show them, hey, you know, the scale's not changing, don't worry, you know, you're, you're gaining lean muscle, you're losing fat, these are all the good things. And this is like the, you know, the, the bang your head against the wall problem that I'm sure all trainers and you, even you probably, you know, like you hear it all the time, right? Oh, the scale, I'm not losing weight. I'm not losing weight or I'm gaining weight when I'm starting an exercise program. So when I saw that, um, that problem, there was just a, a big disconnect because all of this equipment was used only in that medical setting. It wasn't accessible to anybody else. And it was super, um, super expensive to even do this program. So basically, you know, my, um, you know, my idea and why I started the business was to make it accessible to the everyday person that still wants to, you know, have access, use this information, um, use this data to validate the programs so that they know that they're on the right track. And it's really motivating and validating to see, um, you know, that they're actually seeing change. Um, my passion really is just providing not only providing data for clients, just having numbers backed, you know, and especially when we're getting into like more scientific um, type methods of whether it's weight training or nutrition or a lot of science-based, um, you know, information that's being put, put out there. The data is there to help to not only validate those, whatever those programs are, but also to just validate um, and to provide these numbers. It just, it's more, it's more detailed or more information than um, you would get, obviously, from a scale or something that you can do at home. So it's just providing that so that we can validate and basically like show you that things are working or not working and helping to really find the plan that's going to, you know, be long term for you. So we don't plan specific for anybody. We want to see what you're doing and validate that it's working for you or it's not working for you and help guide you on that path that's going to ultimately work long term. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that information is so powerful. Um, you know, I use your guys' services as well. Um, just I occasionally get a DEXA scan, you know, just kind of see how things are changing. Um, this, yep. That information is just so, so helpful to see if you're on the right track. Uh, you mentioned something I think that's super important I want to go back to, uh, where like people get really focused on the scale and the number of, you know, how many pounds they're losing or how much they weigh, especially as they're starting new exercise. Can you get a little bit deeper into, you know, how your services, you know, kind of give a little bit more information that's a little bit more helpful than what the number on the scale shows? Sure. Um, so, you know, the scale, for example, is not, especially somebody starting a new exercise program, a new strength training program. Um, a lot of times the scale may go up or it doesn't change at all and you get really frustrated and we see this all the time. They just get really frustrated because they think, um, you know, that the scale should automatically be going down. So. Um, by doing a DEXA scan, say in the beginning of a program, you get a baseline scan. It's just information. There's nothing you're doing with it, but it's just, you know, having a baseline. And then four to six to eight weeks down the line, you do another scan and you see, okay, maybe my weight didn't change, you know, at all, but I gained five pounds of lean mass and I lost five pounds of fat. That's really significant, right? Having that swing. Um, and not only did I gain five pounds of fat and, and or gain five pounds of lean and lose five pounds of fat, but here is where I gained my lean mass. I knew that I was, you know, doing a lot of squats and I gained so much lean in my legs and, and my arms and maybe not my trunk this time, but I lost a lot of fat in my trunk. So we see exactly where that happens in the body. So it's really um, enlightening to see that, that change, but also just to get to know your body and see where the physical change is happening like that and just realize, okay, well, this is your body. You can't spot target anything, but by knowing where the fat you know, you're dropping the fat or even gaining the fat. And then the same thing with lean mass. It's just, it's that information that you have and you start to realize and connect that with the program or whatever you're doing and saying, yes, this is working for me. Um, and it's working in a really, really positive, significant way. Or no, it's not working for me because we see that sometimes too. So you get a second scan and maybe you didn't see the change that you expected, but then we can really sit down and say, okay, what, let's really look at what you were doing over this time period were you consistent with it? How is your nutrition? How are these other factors that could impact your results? And then we can move forward from that as, you know, additional information and try 
you know, try something else or just continue on and see if next time around you see change. So just having those check-ins and that kind of, it really manage, manages that progress. Yeah, I think that's super powerful because I think people too often get caught up on like, I didn't lose weight or I gained weight and they start freaking out thinking their program doesn't work, but actually it's working great. But you wouldn't know that if you just looked at the scale, you just need a little bit more, more kind of detailed information. So I think, I think that's super, super powerful. Totally. Yeah. So, you know, one thing that, that I deal with all the time is that people often think that, you know, it's, you know, as they get into their 30s or 40s, 50s, it's just inevitable that they're going to lose strength, they're going to become less active, they're going to become less healthy. You know, why do you think that there's this belief out there that it's just inevitable that you're going to lose, you know, your activity level as you age? Honestly, I think it's just we see it in our parents, our grandparents, and we just think and feel that, oh, okay, we're getting older, we just, we just have this decline, and sure, things shift and things change in our body, and our hormones change completely, and, you know, and that definitely makes it more difficult to maintain our lean muscle and to, you know, keep our fat, you know, our, our fat down, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible, you know? So it's just a matter of developing those habits early on and just continuing on. Another thing that, you know, that I can relate to because I have three kids is that, you know, life does tend to get away, you know, get in your, in the, sorry, in the way in the thirties, forties and on, because that's usually the time period that, you know, people are having kids or a little more established, you know, in their, in their careers and you're doing activities and, and you have school functions and all of this stuff. And then you, you tend to focus more on that versus on yourself. You start to lose a little bit of that focus on self. And that tends to, we tend to let go of, you know, all of those additional healthy habits um, later on. Is it impossible to stay healthy in 30, 40, 50, 60 plus years old? No, not at all. I've seen guys before that are, you know, 80 years, 80 years old and like recovering from, um, you know, injuries super, super fast because they are natural, they're, they've stayed active since they're, you know, since they were young, they've kept, or at least been able to try to maintain the muscle that they have. Um, which obviously, you know, strength training is the best thing that we can be doing as we age. Um, but I think that people just tend to drop off those programs and that kind of self-motivation and then just like let themselves go. Um, which is really tough because again, with the hormonal changes then it just makes even more, you know, it makes it even more difficult to then try to regain any lean muscle that they had in the early years or, um, you know, shed any of the fat. Yeah, I think, I think you're, you're totally right about, you know, building those habits early on, um, you know, because if you, if you start in your 30s of like, okay, I'm going to make my health a priority, I'm going to make sure, you know, I'm, I'm exercising, I'm going to make sure I'm tracking, you know, my lean mass, it just gets easier as, as you get in your 40s and your 50s. Um, so to do that, but it's also, I, I, I hear it a lot of times and I'm sure you do too, that, you know, once people are in their forties or fifties, they think it's too late. Um, so I'm, I'm sure I'm, maybe I'm not sure, but do you see people in their fifties who think it's too late then all, you know, see some change once they start to get some scans with you? Oh gosh, we've had at our Arlington office just recently, actually, we've had a guy in his mid fifties that is, you know, he lost, oh my gosh, what did he lose? 10, 15% body fat in a matter of maybe like six months or so. And he's just working out, just cleaned up his nutrition and he's really like working hard. And he was actually able to gain some lean muscle as well. Um, you know, which guys in mid fifties, it's a little more difficult just due to the drops in testosterone and, and the hormone levels, but he was able to gain some lean muscle. So that's super validating and also like super motivating to see somebody that's just like, it just clicked in their head and he's like, no, nope, I got to get it together. I'm going to exercise. I'm just going to watch, you know, just clean up my diet. And to actually see that amount of results over a short period of time is just really, really amazing. And we share some of our transformations for those clients as well um, that, that see that, that type of progress. But it's definitely not impossible. And, you know, anybody, you can start at any time. That's completely a misconception. It's just a matter of, you know, finding what works, just, just doing it literally, <laughs> and, and then just continuing on and just being consistent with it. That's it. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome improvement for, for somebody in his fifties. Big message oh, for everybody. Okay. Never too late to start. Even if you think it's a lost cause, you can absolutely make some big changes. Yeah. So uh, there's a ton of, of these kind of things in my business, but you know, what's a common myth that people think about your business 
um, that you might be able to say, no, that's not totally true and kind of educate people on a little bit? Um, you know what? I mean, as far as, as a business, it's, it's still a very new concept to be offering these type of services in a business as a whole. So there's not that many that I can think of like myths necessarily, but, um, what I'm looking at which is our most popular service, uh, DEXA, to measure body composition, there are some, um, there are a lot of myths around that. So being, being that, um, say for example, somebody comes in and does a DEXA scan, and then they go and do an in-body um, and measure their body fat, and they came in at DEXA at 20% in-body at say 18%. You know, Usually it's, there is a big difference, but say if somebody came in and they saw a 2% difference, they think in their head, okay, well now if I continue doing in-body, it's always going to be a 2% difference than whatever my DEXA would be. That happens <laughs> a lot because they're just trying to like gauge what the relation is between the two methods. And there is no relation. They're completely, you can't compare them, um, you know, apples to apples at all. Um, and there's lots of factors that can impact, you know, both sides of it. So it's not that, oh, because you were on DEXA 1 and then your scale at home said something else, that it's always going to be you know, 2%, 5%, whatever that, that difference is. That's just not the case. It's completely different measurements. Um, so, I mean, that that's the one, you know, off the top of my head. And then, you know, another myth just being, um, well, not so much a myth, more just education behind the different methods and what they do, the pros and cons of the different methods of body composition testing, just because there's such a wide spectrum from, you know, your scale at home to the old school calipers, the pinch tests to, um, you know, the different types of in-body sites uh, to bod pods and hydrostatic to DEXA, again, being, being at the top tier. So they all use a completely different type of technology and they spit out, you know, primarily the same type of data, but um, accuracies, things like that are completely different between between all of them. Got it. But Dex is, Dex is pretty near the top of, of accuracy, right? Right. At this, at this point in time, it's medical grade research base is Dex, so, uh, which is why it's not very widely available yet or very well known. Um, Dex is not a new technology by any means. It's been used for, you know, 20 plus years um, in research settings primarily, um, but because it is a very low dose x-ray machine, not everybody can have it, not at all states. There's different regulations behind it, all of that stuff. So, um, but as far as, you know, being at the top tier, it's even above hydrostatic weighing just because hydrostatic weighing has always been the gold standard for body composition. But the difficult part about hydrostatic weighing is that most people can't expel all the air that they need to expel in order to be dumped. And it's also very invasive, whereas DEXA is not invasive at all. Six minute scan, you're done. And you have a lot more detailed, um, detailed information. Got it. So for those that don't understand, because I think I'm not 100% clear, hydrostatic weighing is where you get put in submerged in water yes, uh, and you get measured that way. DEXA scan, uh, you can clear me up, but from what I've been through, you just basically lay on a table, scanner goes over you, you're done in five minutes, all you do is lay there. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. You don't have to take your clothes off, nothing. Yep. You just lay there, six minute scan, you're good. <laughs> yep, super easy. Uh, yep. I don't even believe it takes six minutes, but maybe it just goes by super quickly. I don't know. <laughs> That's exactly the time. It's six <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you know, my belief is in the health, health and fitness world that no, no one person can do everything. So I love having a network of people to talk to, you know, so what other businesses and resources do you, do you think people should be reaching out to that you refer to that you think people can use to, to stay healthy and active? Well, definitely physical therapists like yourself. We have a nice network of, of physical therapy professionals in the DC area. We have a really big network of um, local gyms and personal trainers. They're definitely a go-to just because we don't provide exercise programs at all. And, you know, we see the best results in those that are focusing on exercise and nutrition. Um, so we have a good network of, of fitness professionals around, whether they're virtual or here in the, in the DC area that we like to refer out to. Um, Definitely trying to find um, whether it's a gym or a trainer that's going to keep you motivated, but also maybe educate you on the front end if you're not familiar with weight training is, you know, the best thing. And I think the best investment that somebody can make just so that they are learning 
proper movements and form, um, and then can build upon that. Um, and then of course, nutrition. I mean, nutrition is a huge part of any weight loss, fat loss, muscle gain, any of that. So, you know, focusing on nutrition and finding nutrition professionals, which we have, Composition ID does have nutrition professionals um, on site. But, um, you know, if you're not in the area, then definitely, you know, finding a registered dietitian or a certified nutritionist to work with is really, really important because the food aspect is just a huge, um, not only a lot of, you know, mental things that go into, you know, food, um, and, and nutrition planning, but, um, it's a big part of overall health. So, yeah, no, I'd, I'd highly recommend to anybody watching, uh, you know, find a team of people that, that specialize in what you're looking for. Uh, you know, not, no one person can, can do everything, you know, nobody can be an expert in everything. So just find, find your team of, of different people that, that can keep you healthy. Exactly. So I always like to ask people, you know, what's the best piece of advice that you love giving to people that you are terrible at following yourself? Um, <laughs> um, this is a funny one because I'm a notorious program hopper just because I'm very curious and I always want to try different programs and see how it works for me. And obviously I have the tools available to me, so I'll do before and afters and different things. Um, so I do tell people, I mean, to find something that works with you, for you, stick with it and stay consistent with it, whatever the program is, because there's so many out there, whether you're doing keto or, um, you know, paleo or what are the, good, the, the ones out there, or following macros or, um, you know, all of these different, different programs that are out there. Um, I like, you know, I tell people, whatever you're doing, stick with it for a longer period of time and see if it's really working for you and see if it also fits in your lifestyle because anything for 30 days or that you're doing for 30 days does obviously doesn't fit in your lifestyle. If like, that's the maximum that either they're promoting or marketing or whatever it may be. Right. So, you know, you need to follow something six, eight, really, I like to give it 12 weeks, you know, at least a good three months of following and staying consistent with something, seeing if it works for you, obviously validating it, getting a, you know, before and after measurement to see if it worked for you and really, you know, thinking about if that's something that you can sustain long term and continue on with. So, you know, when I tell people to stick with something myself, you know, I'm bad at that because I like to see results very quickly and I like to measure quickly, you know, and I do do those 35 day programs every once in a while just to see. But in reality, what has worked for me, which I can, you know, attest to just from the summer is it's been 12 weeks that I've actually followed something and I've seen the most results that I've ever seen doing anything before because I've just stuck with it for longer, uh, you know, the longer than 30 days. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's definitely good advice. Do as she says, not as she does. Uh, you definitely have to stick with yeah. programs, whether it's, you know, whether it's nutrition or body changes or personal training or physical therapy. It takes time for your body to change. So, so definitely stick with a plan. Give it some time. Uh, and, then, and then, you know, take measurements along the way. Use your DEXA scans to see your progress and, and really take some time to see if that program's working. Definitely. Um, so Tiffany, tell us, you know, what's going on in your business? Any special promos for people watching? Anything you want people to know about? Um, yeah, so we do have a discount code set up um, for all of your listeners or viewers. Um, the discount code is District Performance, and it takes $26 off any of our services. So we provide um, DEXA for body composition. It'll work for RMR, for resting metabolic rate testing, uh, which is a really, really great test if you are going to make any nutrition changes to know what your metabolic rate so that you have a gauge of, you know, how many calories you should be consuming um, for your goals. Um, VO2 max, and also off of a single nutrition consult. So that code works for any of it. So the code, again, is district performance, and it takes $26 off any single service. That's awesome. Thanks so much for that. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, can you just uh, real briefly explain what metabolic rate testing is? Sure. Um, resting metabolic rate testing, basically what it does, it's a 10 minute breathing test. You breathe through a tube, it measures your oxygen um, output. And what that does is correlates to a number of calories that your body burns. So say, for example, you were in bed all day, um, doing absolutely nothing, your body's still burning calories because you have metabolic functions happening in your body, although you're not moving or eating or anything, right? So it tests what that baseline number is. So for example, you know, my body burns 1600 calories a day just at rest. Um, 
And then we add in lifestyle activity calories, a little bit of exercise, and then we can see how many calories you should be consuming for maintaining your weight, weight loss, and what your medically supervised zones are. So um, whenever we're putting together a plan for a nutrition client or somebody's coming in for, um, you know, metabolic testing, you know, it's usually how many calories do I need to be at to lose fat? That's what most people come in. Um, so you actually get that number because if you don't know what your metabolic rate is, you're just guessing if you're trying to follow any type of caloric, um, you know, uh, base planned. So, you know, typically programs online, you know, are not, are just, are not customized to you and your metabolism. So although they may say, oh, follow, you know, a 1500 calorie a day diet, if your metabolic rate is much higher than that, that can be way too low and vice versa. If your metabolic rate ends up being very low, then you can end up gaining weight on that. So it's just a very cookie cutter. The number just comes from wherever, but this number doing actually doing a metabolic rate test, you'll find out how much you are actually burning and then be able to set your caloric goals based on that. And then that can go into your macro goals as well. Yeah, so it's just just that more information that makes any kind of plan just more successful. You really oh. make it much more individual, um, make any nutrition plan that much more successful. Right. And just, you know, again, all of the data we provide is on you yourself, you know, so it's not like we're comparing or we're bringing numbers in from other people. It's finding out what your individual numbers are so that whatever your plan is, is very custom and specific to your body, where you're at and what your goals are. Nice. All right, Tiffany, this has been awesome. Thank you so much for coming on, giving everybody so much information. Everybody should definitely be checking out Composition ID. I use their services. Uh, they give so much helpful information if you're trying to make any body changes. So what's the best way for people to get in touch with Composition ID? Sure. Um, online, I mean, Instagram, we are at composition underscore ID. Um, we also have our local offices, DC, Arlington, Bethesda. We have an office in Baltimore and we have one out in Houston. Um, so just going to the Instagram, you'll be able to see all the offices there. Our website is compositionid.com. And um, if you're in the DC area, shoot us an email, info at compositionid.com. We'll get, we'll get to you. Um, and yeah, so that's it. That's Perfect. Thanks so much for coming on, Tiffany. Thank you. Take care. Bye.